Using custom fields in Teamwork Desk will help you and your team capture the data that matters to you. Custom fields work in the embeddable contact form, customer portal, the support site, and of course, you can also use them in ticket forms. To access our custom fields, the first thing we need to do is select our profile picture on the top right. Next up, select settings. In our general tab over on the left hand side, just make sure that you've selected custom fields. Currently, we haven't created any custom fields, so let's create our first custom field. In the add custom field window, the first thing we need to do is name our custom field. Next up, we can select the type. So this can be single line text, multi line text, drop down, checkbox, numbers, or date. And I'll leave this as single line text. Below this, we can state whether or not this custom field is required. Now we can just click next. Up here, we can decide whether or not customers can view this field. In name for customer, this is the title of the field that the customer will see. And I'll just go with product ID. Below this, we can add a description for the field. We can state whether or not the customer can edit this field. And again, we can click next. Here we can decide the inboxes where this field will appear. We can select all inboxes or specific inboxes. And I'll just go with the support inbox. And now all we have to do is click save. And there you go. Now you can see that we've successfully added our first custom field. We can see the field name, the field type, the number of inboxes, whether or not this is required and whether or not this is enabled. We can also easily edit or delete the field if we need to. Let's have another quick look at adding a field and this time I'll go with a drop down. Again, let's add our name and this time in type, I'll select drop down where here we can add our drop down options. To add more options, just select add option. Again, we can make this required if we want to. And if we select next, we can decide if customers can view, we can enter the name for the customers, add a description and whether or not the customer can edit. Again, once we're happy, select next and we can choose our inboxes. I'll go with support inbox again and then save. And there you go. Now you can see that we've created our second custom field. Now that we've had a look at creating our custom fields, let's take a quick look at using them when creating a new ticket. We have all of our standard fields when creating a ticket. And then down here, you can see the two custom fields that we've created. The red star next to product ID indicates that this is mandatory. And then of course we have our drop down here for our product selector. And that's it. That's how easy it is to add and use custom fields in Teamwork Desk. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us, support at teamwork.com.